Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to use the WooCommerce plugin with VP Rental Stream. WooCommerce is supported for paid submission and payments for bookings. We have integrated WooCommerce plugin so you can use any merchant they support for team payments. I will start showing how to use WooCommerce. First, I will go to plugins and install the plugin. I will click add new look for WooCommerce plugin. This is the plugin that you need to install. I will activate the plugin. You will need to add your details here. I will skip this for the moment. Once you have activated WooCommerce in pages, you will see cart page, checkout page, my account, and shop page. These pages come from WooCommerce plugin and they are necessary for the plugin to work correctly. The next step is to go to WooCommerce settings and start adding your own details. You will be able to add address, city, you will be able to enable taxes, coupons. Here you can set your currency. For the moment I will leave it to US dollars and I will go to the next section, products. This section is not usable for the team as the merchants have been integrated only for team payments. The same will apply for shipping. I will go to the next section in payments. Here you will be able to set the payment merchants that you wish to use. WooCommerce has over a hundred merchants available. You will need to install the add-ons for each payment. I will show as example the setup for Stripe payment. I have it already here in recommended ways to get paid. I will press get started. The plugin will be automatically installed and activated, but you can install any payment add-on from WooCommerce. Now I will enable Stripe as payment and I will need to create the Stripe API and add the credentials here. I have added my sandbox credentials. So now I am ready to go to the next section, account and privacy. Here I will tick all the options as they are necessary when WooCommerce is used with instant booking. So the new user account to be created on checkout. We have a different video that explains how to use WooCommerce with instant booking option. In email section, you will be able to change the email's address and the content for the email sent from WooCommerce. I have finished WooCommerce setup for the moment. And now I will go to team options, payments and submit. And in WooCommerce settings, I will enable WooCommerce payments in the team. The next step is to show how the actual payment works. So I will log in as a guest and place a new booking. I am logged in with a guest account. So now I will place the new booking. I have instant booking enabled so I can bypass the owner approval. I will select check in and check out. I will select the number of guests and place the booking. I will click on the pay now button and will be redirected to checkout page so I can add my details and make the payment. We hide some default fields from checkout page which are not required to process payments. A WooCommerce plugin is used in the team with its standard options. This is the default checkout page but you can add coupons or taxes from WooCommerce settings. Before paying, I will go back to WooCommerce and show how to set up taxes. First, I will enable taxes. I will save changes. And now in settings, I will have this tab. And here you will be able to define any taxes that you need to apply. There are many options for the taxes from WooCommerce and you can learn on how taxes go with WooCommerce by checking their online taxes documentation. Going back to checkout page, I will proceed with the payment. I will add first name, last name, phone number and I will proceed 
with the payment. I will place the order. This confirms that the payment was done and the booking deposit was paid. I will return to my reservations and you can see here that the booking is now confirmed. These are the steps that you need to take for booking payments with WooCommerce. Now I will show how to proceed with paid listing with WooCommerce. I will go back to Team Options. In Payments and Submit and Submission Payment Settings, I will enable Per Listing. Here you will need to add a price for regular listing and for featured listings. I will save the changes. And now from the owner account, I will pay for this listing to be published and after to be made featured. I will click publish or upgrade button. I will click pay now button. Now I am redirected to checkout page. Here the owner will need to add his details. I will add the payment details. and place order. The payment was done. I will return to dashboard. Here you will see that the listing status was changed. The listing is now paid and published. And next I will click on publish or upgrade button so I can make the listing featured. You can see here that I have the price for featured listing. I will click upgrade to featured. I am again redirected to checkout. I will complete the details. I will add the payment details and place order. The payment was done. I will return to dashboard. Here you will see that the listing was made featured. These are all the steps for pay submission as well. This wraps our video, thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications for new videos.